Welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll be looking at the memory filled history of the once Subiaco Oval. The ground was first built in 1908 when it was known as Miller Park. In 1969 a three story grandstand was built at the west end of the stadium and in 1981 a two story grandstand was built for members and the wing was completed. A new renovation came in 1995 when a new two level town and country stand later renamed the ANZ and the NAB stand opposite of the members wing was built. In 1987, the West Coast Eagles moved to the ground before eight years later, so did the Dockers. In 1997, lighthouses were installed on the land. The final renovation, which converted the stadium into an all-seater capacity for 43,500 people, was completed in 1999 at a cost of $35 million. The Orr Simmons Stand, a three-tier stand, was named in honor of three influential WAFL leaders. Up until the early 1990s, this was conspicuously and proudly displayed on the outside western face of the stand. After that, a commercial sponsor's emblem took its place. In one of the stairwells, there was a little plaque commemorating the stand's old name, and on the rear inner wall of each tier, there was a plaque. Four lighting towers floodlit the area. The suggestion to rename to Anzac Field was made by the WA Football Commission in May 2005. However, it was turned down by D. Ann Kelly, the Minister for Veteran Affairs, because the word Anzac is protected by federal law. The stadium was renamed Patterson Stadium when Perth-based stockbroker Patterson Security purchased the naming rights in October 2010. It was accepted by the WA Football Commission, which also promised to reinvest in football at all levels. The stadium was renamed Domain Stadium when it was revealed in February 2015 that Patterson Security will relinquish naming rights to the Domain Group, a real estate business. The agreement was in place for three years, or until the new Perth Stadium officially opened. The WA government declared in July 2007 that it would rather construct a new stadium with 60,000 seats than renovate Subiaco Oval. The government announced early the next year that Subiaco Oval would be destroyed to make room for the new Perth Super Stadium, which would be constructed at Kitchener Park, which is nearby. The construction of the brand new 60,000 seat stadium was scheduled to begin in 2011 and finished mostly in 2016. The demolition of Subiaco was scheduled to take place between 2014 and 2016 in order to complete the construction of the new stadium. Premier Colin Barnett announced in February 2009 that in light of the state's deteriorating finances, his government had scrapped plans for a new outdoor stadium. He stated that a new stadium, including an alternative proposal to redevelop Subiaco Oval, would not be considered for at least two years. However, in December 2009, he announced that he wanted to demolish Subiaco Oval and build a new stadium in Perth so he can host World Cup games. When the Premier stated that the government will move forward with the development of a new big stadium on the Burwood Peninsula known as Perth Stadium with a capacity of 60,000 seats, any plans to redevelop Subiaco Oval were shelved. The McMullen government revealed plans in June 2017 to construct a new high school at Kitchener Park, which is adjacent to Zubiaco Oval. The playing field on the property would be turned into a leisure area. Bob Hawke College is a new institution, which commenced operations in February 2020. The administration disclosed that the Oval playing area will continue to be available for community and educational usage and reduced in size. Beginning in July 2019, the stadium's extremely visible light towers, which had been used since 1997, were demolished along with the grandstands. For memorial purposes, the stadium's famous entrance gates were kept. This brings us to the current day, where Subiaco Oval is no longer, however its field remains, and the memories in this ground. If you do enjoy this content, then stay tuned, but in the meantime, goodbye.